Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Norma Tip Strike, their 170 grain load in 308 Winchester. And here is your very cool looking box for that Norma Tip Strike 170 grain 308 Winchester load. Cool picture of a wild boar right there. Now first thing I'm noticing is some discrepancies. So right here on the front it says medium game. We got a picture of a wild boar, right? It is a 170 grain bullet in 308. And then right here, it says varmint. And then right here, we have icons for what looks like a fox, rabbit, squirrel, and a coyote. Um, that's very odd that it says varmint there, varmint icons, and then medium game on the front. I'm not sure if maybe this label was mislabeled or something, but that is strange and it seems like we've got some discrepancies just right on the box anyway i just wanted to point that out we will be evaluating this as if it is a medium game hunting ammo that is what i think this stuff is meant for regardless of these icons and it's stating varmint there very strange anyways let's go ahead and flip it around to the ballistics table our muzzle velocity at zero yards is stated at 2625 feet per second we will be shooting this stuff out of a 22 inch barrel ruger american so we'll see how close we get to that let's go ahead and open this stuff up and take a look and norma ammo is always packaged really nice it comes in these black plastic ammo holders you can crack that like that and have two five rounders you can throw in your pack or in your pocket or anything like that and something a lot of people don't know and if you've seen my other videos you might get tired of me talking about this but you can use these black plastic holders as sort of a fire starter not a starter really but just to get your fire going you can light this and it will burn for quite a long time there's a video on norma's youtube channel anyways push down right here and and then push up and that will release your round and you can pull one out let's take a look at it there it is really clean looking stuff norma brass usually looks really really good this is no exception there's your 170 grain tip strike bullet let's go shoot it and see how it does and real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Norma tip strike, 170 grain load out of the 308, minimum 2597, max 2656, average 2631. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those Norma tip strike 170 grainers out of the 308 Winchester. And as you can see, we did capture all three bullets. We've got one at 25 inches, one at, we'll give that one 26 and a half inches. And then the other one is right there, kissing 28 and a half inches. So these actually penetrated quite a bit deeper than I thought they would. I thought they were gonna dump a whole bunch more energy up front, which they actually did. They slung this front block around a lot, but I didn't think they would maintain and penetrate as deep as they did this is really interesting and honestly great performance and right here you can kind of see that bullet it looks like we got really good expansion and it looks like they held together for the most part and coming over to the first block we'll try and take a look at the wound cavities a little tough to see but they opened up extremely rapidly almost immediately wound track and then it tapers off right here it really thins out at about the seven to eight inch mark and then they just keep on penetrating through 
and there's there's a little bit of fragmentation in here. I can see a few pieces. It's tough to see on the camera, but it looks like they held the majority of their weight, which I'm actually surprised being that it's a tip strike bullet. Let's go ahead and dig them out and see what they're like. All right, y'all, on to that Norma tip strike 170 grain stuff. Out of the 308 Winchester, we've dug the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the metrics. Weight retention. 119, 122, 128 grains for an average of 123 grains retained weight. That 72% weight retention. I think that's pretty phenomenal for, you know, a ballistic tip bullet that's meant to deliver a lot of shock up front. I'm honestly surprised it held together as well as it did, but it did. I'm happy with it. And I don't know, honestly, I might prefer it lose a little bit more weight than that for what this stuff is. Make of it what you will. Expansion wise, we saw 0 0.6, 0 0.62, and 0.63 inches. So very, very consistent, both for weight retention and expansion which works out to 0.62 inches expanded diameter. That's 2X expansion right there at that 2X mark. I like to see for medium game ammo out of your standard calibers. And just look at these bullets. It's pretty uniform all the way around. We don't have any wacky jagged edges sticking way off to the side, you know, skewing the expansion number. They all look pretty similar. On to velocity, we saw 2656 for the high, 2598 for the low, 2632 for the average versus the factory build velocity of what is it? 2625. So we got seven feet per second faster on average than the factory build velocity. Absolutely phenomenal performance. I'll take that every time I can get it. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards at impact would be about 2,448 feet per second. On to penetration. Now here's where this ammo really blows it out of the park. I wasn't expecting this out of the tip strike load. We saw 25 inches, 26 and a half inches, and 28 and a half inches for an average of 27 inches of penetration. That is phenomenal penetration out of a, essentially a ballistic tip type ammo that's supposed to deliver a lot of shock up front. Really deep. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I, I kind of wish for this kind of ammo, honestly, that it would have expanded a bit more. Instead of seeing 2x expansion, you know, for the final tally, I wish we would have seen more like 2.3, 2.5x, and a little bit less penetration for what this ammo is. But it is what it is, and it penetrated deep. And on to kinetic energy with a 170 grain bullet going on average 2,632 feet per second. We're looking at 2,614 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,261 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. So it's still hitting with over a ton of energy within most typical deer hunting ranges. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Norma Tip Strike 170 grain load out of the 308 Winchester. Something I want to bring up again, I believe I mentioned it when we looked at the ammo box initially, but I've got the box right here. On the back, it does say, or rather not on the back, sorry, but on the side of the box, it says Varmint for some reason, okay? It says Varmint, excellent penetration and stopping power. And then it's got little icons of a fox, a rabbit, a, a squirrel. I mean, could you imagine shooting a squirrel with this stuff? And a coyote. So it says varmint here on the side of the box. But then on the front and the other sides of the box, it says medium game with a picture of a wild boar. So it says medium game. It says varmint. I definitely think we have a packaging you know, mismatch issue that it got out of the factory. and That's got to be a mistake. Based on the performance of the ammo, this is definitely not the varmint version. If there is a varmint version, I definitely think this is the medium game version of this load. Um, and so that's kind of how I'm going to evaluate it. It didn't perform like a varmint ammo. And based on that, all in all, I think it did pretty darn good. But caveat for what the stuff is supposed to be, tip strike, ballistic tip, big giant punch energy dump up front, I think it held together a little bit too much penetrated a little bit too much and de didn't deliver as much shock as it could have. I don't know, maybe the alloy of the bullet's a little bit too hard. I, I wish it would have expanded a bit more, actually shed a little bit more weight and penetrated a little bit less 
to deliver that strike up front as per the title of the ammo. Now that said, it still performed incredibly well, and I wouldn't hesitate to use it on, on all manner of medium game. In reality, it performed more like a traditional kind of 180 grain soft point out of a 308 as opposed to a like ballistic tip type bullet. Make of that what you will. So I'm pretty pleased overall. I wouldn't hesitate to use it. If you've used this stuff on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.